Good happy Tuesday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Keen Army Staff Sergeant charged with child porn, porn possession. An Army Staff Sergeant working as a recruiter in Keene has been charged with possession of child pornography. Custer gears up for recollection bid with four twenty nine thousand raised in the first quarter. US Rep Annie Custer continued to produce big fundraising numbers for her campaign as she gears up a big for bid for a third term in the House. Hassan Senate campaign raises more than $2.25 million in first quarter of 2016. In the second quarter report of her U.S. Senate campaign, Democratic Governor Maggie Hassan continued to show strong fundraising powerness as she takes on Republican incumbent Kelly Ayotte in the National Watch Swing State Battle. Ayotte raises more than $2.25 million in first quarter of 2016. Republican incumbent Kelly Ayotte continues to pile up big fundraising numbers as she works to retain her U.S. Senate seat in one of the most closely watched races in the country. Manchester woman drove high with child in car, police say. A Manchester woman was arrested after she drove with her child in the car while under the influence of heroin. Police hope to identify suspect in baseball bat beating. Manchester police are asking for the public's help to identify a person who said they beat a man with a baseball bat earlier this month. Skimming device found at Manchester ATM. Police say a discovered a card reader and a camera inside an ATM at St. Mary's Bank. Governor Hassan proclaim Equal Day Pay. Equal Day Pay is an annual date that symbolizes how far into the year a woman must work to earn what a man earned in the previous year. Merrimack River ranks among most threatened rivers in the U.S. A new report lists the Merrimack River as one of the ten most threatened rivers in the United States. School bus collides with car in Manchester. Emergency officials in Manchester reported to a motor vehicle accident involving a school bus Tuesday morning. Two arrested for credit card fraud at Tilton Outlets. Police in Tilton arrested two New York men for the use of counterfeit credit cards at store at the Tanger Outlets Monday afternoon. Hooks at police seek subway restaurant robbery. A violent confrontation between a female employee at a fast food restaurant and a man robbing her store was caught on surveillance video. Fisher Cats play as a way team in their own stadium. The New Hampshire Fisher Cats faced off against a new team Monday night, the Hartford Yard Goats. Mm -hmm. 
Pull Clinton Trump rolling in New York. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump held double digits leads among likely Democratic and Republican primary voters in New York, according to the results of the last Quapancy University poll released Tuesday. FBI Chief James Comey glad dispute with Apple over terrorist phone has ended. FBI Director James Comey said today he's glad the legal fight with Apple involving an iPhone left behind by one of the Santa Barbara shooters is over. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Tuesday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.